freely about government policy run amok, government choice to underfund and sacrifice patient care. February 2015, the Liberals go ahead and impose their terms on physicians anyways. How? Physicians are the one profession that has no way of forcing the government back to the table. No option to strike, no binding arbitration, no choice at all for fair dispute resolution. It has left the most vulnerable of patients without the care that they so need and deserve. And that is why I cannot be silent anymore. The nearly one billion in cuts to physician services have forced many physicians to close clinics to relocate or to retire earlier than planned. As of now, one million patients in the province are without a family doctor. Because of financial mismanagement, the Liberal government has been responsible for the rescheduling or cancellation of hundreds of necessary surgeries. Patients who have been waiting 8 to 12 months for their surgeries are now being told to await another 6 to 8 months until until the middle of the next budget year. This is true for cardiac surgery, obstetrics, orthopedic surgery, and cataract surgery in hospitals all across the province. Sault Ste. Marie, Simcoe County, London, St. Thomas, Strathroy, Woodstock, Mississauga, Hamilton, and even Toronto, St. Michael's, Mount Sinai, and Sunnybrook Hospitals. Surgeons and nurses are standing by, but the lights of these operating rooms are off because the Liberals are too busy paying down their scandals rather than for your health care. Family physicians and specialists in Whitby, Oshawa were recently surveyed about the practice impacts of the Liberal health care cuts, and the results are very concerning. 66% of my colleagues are reducing staff hours or laying off staff. 62% are reducing office hours, 52% have halted plans to open new clinics, and 74% are closing clinics, relocating, or retiring earlier than planned. But behind their rhetoric and their budgets, we doctors have to make changes in their patient hours, in their availability, so that we do not exceed the physician services budget. Hospitals are canceling surgeries until April to save dollars before the fiscal year end of March 31st. Doctors are taking days off, not because we want days off, because when we see patients, it costs the government money. The government is forcing us to ration your access to care. Then the wait began. Five years ago, it took six months for me to see the nurse after the first appointment came the wait for tests, CTs, and MRIs. While you wait and wait, your symptoms are progressing, you struggle to go to work and keep up with the demands of your job. You struggle with raising your family and simply doing the things you need to do every day. The anxiety and frustration continue. You don't understand why it takes so long for answers and for help. When you're struggling with a serious illness, you want help now. Patients first, care not cuts. Put patients first, care not cuts. Put patients first, care not cuts. Put patients first.